I had several awards by the university. I got the highest award in Israel, which is called the Israel Prize, uh, about 10 years ago. I more recently got a award called the Emet Award in Israel, which is uh, given by the Prime Minister. Uh, I had the Rothschild Award by the Rothschild family in England, and Lord Rothschild came from England, and uh, that was in the Israeli Parliament. I have um, mm, awards from uh, quite a few foreign countries, quite a few international societies, the international neuroscience uh, uh, societies and things like that. So uh, mm, I believe that it has been accepted as a mm, important field, especially after we discovered the compounds that the body makes that bind to the cannabinoid receptors in the body. So it opened the field which is of major importance. As a matter of fact, in a recent review by people working at the National Institutes of Health in the US, very important scientists, they wrote that in essentially every disease that has been investigated, the endogenous cannabinoid system is involved in essentially all diseases. Now, that's a very, very strong statement. And I have not heard of any other biological system that is involved in essentially all human diseases. So here we have a system which is of major importance, the endogenous cannabinoid system. Because of legal constraints, there was no, no research in uh, academic institutions. An academic institution is an open place. You cannot have a policeman standing at the door looking at what students are doing. So in most countries, essentially in all countries, there was no research on cannabis. I was not aware of all these things. I just uh, thought, well, uh, here we have a chemical problem. Let's first of all decide to let's solve the chemical problems. Let's find out what's in there in cannabis. We worked on hashish. Hashish is cannabis resin smuggled from the Lebanon. I asked the police whether they can give me uh, hashish for research and they said yes. So I went ahead and picked up the hashish from the police, took the bus uh, with five kilos of hashish in my bag. People were kind of smelling some strange uh, um, smells. They didn't realize what was going on and I didn't realize that it uh, uh, actually there's a lot of smell around. But anyway, w my f uh, colleague uh, Yahil Gaoni and I started working on those five kilos of uh, hashish. It turned out that there, uh, there is a huge number of compounds there. There are two major compounds. One of them is the si the compound that causes the effects, the mood effects and so on, uh, the well-known effects of uh, cannabis. And this is uh, tetrahydrocannabinol, uh, which we isolated, I believe, for the first time in pure form. And using modern methods, which were modern at that time, now they're not so modern anymore, we could determine the structure of the compound. And there is a second compound which had been isolated previously, but again, the structure was not known. It is called cannabidiol. It does not cause uh, the, the well-known cannabis effects, but it has all kinds of other effects. And the two together, CBD, cannabidiol, CBD, and THC, are the basis of cannabis action. Now, they help. I mean, in many cases, uh, this is the only thing that helps. We published 35 years ago that cannabidiol is an excellent anti-epileptic drug in adults. We had a, a small number of adults with uh, epilepsy, which was not being helped by the existing drugs. Most cases it helped considerably. In some cases there were no epileptic attacks. In other cases the number of epileptic attacks went down. There are epilepsies in young children that are 
not cannot be taken care of with the existing drugs. Parents in the U.S. found that giving them medical cannabis with high doses of CBD, very low doses of THC, helps them. In some cases, it completely blocks these attacks. Instead of having 20, 30 attacks per day, they have one or two or one or two a week. Uh, or the level of these attacks is lowered. So they said, we are not interested in uh, doing something illegal. We want this drug in order to help us. So they found what we had already reported many years ago. This is the only drug that helps these very, very sick children. So why not use it? So it works. No doubt it works.